with head coach Ryan Craig. Uh, coach, this was a, another one goal game, but a, a good third period where you went up against the reigning MVP and goaltender Dustin Wolf. How would you evaluate the uh, the effort in the third period? Well, I liked our effort the whole game. I thought the first 10 minutes was as fast a game as we played with with pace. Uh, credit to them. They were ready to play too. It was a good hockey game. And then special teams kind of took over there for a while. And it, it, you know, it seemed to be the last 50 minutes, you know, 48 minutes were kind of special teams game. So we, you know, I didn't think we found our rhythm as much. And, you know, we're, we're one goal short, right? But it comes down to the details for us. We get to, you know, they get a layers at the net and get the tip. It goes up and over us for the first one. And then we get beat to the to the net on the second one. And, and they score from the top of the crease. So, you know, we've, we had some looks like that too that didn't go in. But, uh, you know, we got to find ways to generate and find ways to find one more. What do you think about just the overall rhythm of the game defensively between both goaltenders playing well, but also it didn't feel like there were a ton of second and third opportunities throughout the night. It felt like it was just a, a grudge match throughout. Yeah, it was a little bit of that, right? They're two, two I think, good stru you know, structured teams that, uh, you know, defend first, and that's what we've tried to do with it. We, you know, Paps gave us a really, really good game. Uh, it's third in a row that he's given us. Um, you know, we didn't give him enough, obviously, goal support, but, uh, you know, we, we were there till the end, and, you know, it's disappointing to not come out with at least a point. Ben, you talked a lot about bench management when there's so much special teams going on. How, how do you reflect on that as a coach? Well, some guys have to sit for a little while, depending if we're killing in a row or, or power plays happen. And, you know, those guys know they have to stay engaged and then give us what they have when they come back out and re-engage. So that's, uh, it's important for us to continue to, you know, we're starting to slot guys in certain spots and, you know, they can continue to manage their ice. But... You know, I think guys know we do, we do a good job. I think we use our full bench for the most part. And, um, you know, guys are getting opportunities. Did you like the looks that the power play was generating? Did did score once? Did, did you like what it was creating? Well, I didn't think we were quick enough or attacked enough on the five on three. But, you know, after that, we find a way to get one. Mo gets one coming down the wing. And, um, yeah, I mean, we had our looks. We had some looks five on five. We, you know, guys in the slot and, and getting around the net. I don't know if we created enough second and third chance opportunities though. And then you have a lot of one goal games again. I mean, just it just seems like that's what it's going to be like every year. This division is so tight. It's been like that for the last seven years. You just kind of prepare that it's going to be a one goal game almost every night. Well, that's great. That's what we want, right? That's what uh, that's going to make our guys better. Uh, it's going to make us better. It's a little bit like playoff hockey. There's there's good teams in the Pacific Division. There's good rivalries in the Pacific Division. Uh, it's fun to be a part of every night. And I think, um, you know, our guys will... We're learning if you have if they didn't know already that you know it comes down to details right. There's it could be the goal that goes in in the second period that ends up being the game winner like it was tonight. And you know we give us credit we scratched and clawed or, and stuck around, but you know those those make a difference. Thanks, coach. Thanks.